Welcome to module 18 and in this particular module we have a challenge and the challenge is optional because it doesn't affect anything that we do later on in this course but it does give us an opportunity to practice some of the things we've been looking at in this course up to now and first of all let's take a look at what we're aiming for so we'll start off in Postman because the first thing to do when adding a new feature is to implement it in the API and then it's easier to implement it in the client. So I'm just going to log in as Bob and save the token and I get the token back and what we're aiming for here is just to update a user's profile. So that means a put request going to our server and we're going to hit the forward slash API forward slash profiles URL. Now in the body of this request it's pretty simple. All we've got here is the display name and the bio. We're not doing anything crazy in terms of profile you can add as many fields as you like really, but in our case I'm just adding the one. And we added the bio property into our user class some time ago and now we're going to make use of it. So what we're going to do is give the users the ability to just edit two fields, their display name and the bio. And in this case I'm just going to set the bio to Bob's biography and just keep the display name as Bob. And if I click send, then we should get a 200 OK response. And if we go and get the profile, and I'll just click send to go and get Bob's profile, we'll see the bio string being updated inside here. But we should also be able to change the user's display name. And if I just change Bob to Robert, for instance, and click send, then this should also work. And if I get the profile and click send again, then we get the display name set to Robert's. And what we should also see when we don't send up a display name, because we always want our display name to be set to something, is we should get a validation error in this particular case and our display, name, our display name must not be empty. So that's the API side of things and let's take a look at what we're trying to achieve on the client. So I'm just logged in as Bob and if I just go to my profile what we'll see here is we've got an edit profile button and just like our photos we should be able to click on this and it will toggle a form that we can complete to update the user's profile. And if I click cancel and edit profile, then we see this update. What we should also see, if I just change this back to Bob and click on update profile, we should see it updating here and here as well. Now, I was already logged in as Bob, so I didn't see this update earlier. So I just want to make sure this does update as well. And if I change Bob to Bobby and then click update, then we see it update in the nav bar and the profile header and in this area of our profile page as well. And of course this should be persisted on the server and if I refresh the page then I see the updated data on here as well. So this is what we're aiming for and I'll just go through and just mention very briefly the components I used and updated to achieve this particular functionality. So as far as our API is concerned we're going to need a handler to handle the edit profile functionality. We'll also need a controller method so that we've got somewhere to a method to hit from our client's application. We also need to think about validation and what we want to validate. Now we don't insist on the user creating a bio when they register to our application. So we don't need to validate the bio field but we do need to validate the display name. And once you've added that functionality then it's always a good idea to test the functionality as working in Postman before you try and implement it on the client because I guarantee you if it doesn't work in Postman it doesn't work in your client. And on the client side what we need to think about is the method we need to edit the profile in the agent.ts file. Also in the profile store we need somewhere to call this method from our agent and something to update in the profile store. We also need a loading indicator for the edit profile button as well so that the user is aware that something's updating. And in this case I created two components. One is a profile description and one is a profile edit form. So this challenge is completely optional. Like I say it doesn't make any difference to our overall application and we won't be referring to the profile or editing the profile at any other point in this course. This is really just a challenge to practice some of the concepts that we've been looking at up to this point in this course and it's a good opportunity to engage your brain and have a think about you can achieve this particular functionality. 
Now I'm going to present the solution next and it really doesn't matter if your solution is different to mine. There is always more than one way of achieving the same goal and I'm just going to demonstrate the way next that I achieved this particular feature. So coming up next is the solution to how this is done but please feel free to take a look at this, give it a go and see how you get on. You can always have a peek at the source code because that's always available for you to take a look at if you get stuck and need a hint. But like I say, next up is going to be the solution to this particular challenge.